Wow, what a spot. Behind me, the mighty Murray River. Beautiful place in the world. Highly recommend getting up here. Put it on your bucket list if you've never been up here before. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Jamie from High Country TV. And on today's journey, we're gonna head up to a place called Avondale Gardens. Very, very spectacular. Been there once in the past and it certainly won't disappoint. Please come along on the journey and thanks for tuning in. Absolutely magnificent to be outdoors looking at the sunrise coming up over the hill this morning. Magnificent spot here on the Murray River. Highly recommend getting up into this neck of the woods up on the Victoria and New South Wales border. Spectacular spot. Had a great day yesterday and today we're heading to Avondale Gardens. Alright guys, we've just turned off the road that uh, heads to Albury, so we're heading towards the Hume Dam Weir this morning. Hopefully it's going to be as pretty as I expect. Last time I was up there, it was empty, and this time the dam is at 99% capacity, so it is chock-a-block full. Last yeah. time we were here, that was just about bone dry, and there was a little creek almost down the back. The mighty Murray was up and it's flowing at a reasonable rate of knots and very, very cloudy. So we didn't go for a swim in the Murray at all. It actually advises against it. It's also a, a really important tip to remember. Conditions like these, mid 30s, sun's out, overgrown grass, just be aware of snakes, be aware of your surroundings. Vitally important. We've seen a few along the way, haven't we, Cooper? What have you seen, buddy? Yep. And one other thing. Remember, we filmed it. Possums. Possums. That's right. So so far, it's been a really, really good adventure. Been very enjoyable, and I'm sure today won't disappoint. So stay tuned. Behind me is Lake Hume. Very full actually, 99% capacity. It's good to see. Good for the local industry, I guess, and good for people to come up and see. Right behind me is the ferry terminal to go across. We're not gonna go across it, we're gonna drive around it. But as you can see in the background, the ferry is coming across. So important to get out here, guys, support all the local communities. They've been really damaged in the last couple of years with all this COVID stuff. Um, being at the pub last night, it was great to see. Friendly had some good conversation with some local people. One of the uh, the local guys actually played pool with my son, which he absolutely thought was fantastic. Yes. He got another shot. Another shot. From where that ball is. Oh. Had a great counter meal as I said before. I'll let you watch the ferry come across. Oh, then we're heading to Avondale Gardens.
after leaving Lake Hume and watching the ferry come across, we thought we'd head up to a place called Bafanga and have a bit of breakfast, maybe a bacon and egg roll and a coffee. Um, but on the way up, we saw a signpost that said there was a scenic uh, lookout, so we'll go and check that out as well. As we all know, these country towns were hit pretty hard with all of the coronavirus lockdowns and everything else, so we really encourage everybody to get out and spend some money in these local communities. That was the whole purpose of this trip, A, to tick it off the bucket list, and B, so that we can actually get out there and spend some money in these communities and film. All in all, I think it's been a pretty good journey so far, but we're going to stop and have some breakfast. Just leaving the Bathanga General Store. We had a lovely cafe latte and a bacon and egg roll for breakfast. And Cooper had a hot chocolate. And Highly I recommend had it. Redskins. And you had Redskins too, that's right. Highly recommend dropping in to see the locals here. Lovely town, lovely people, great food. Now we're heading up to a scenic lookout. John Gap Lookout and it's overlooking the dam wall of the Hume Weir and around the corner which is out of shot is the Batanga Bridge which is where we're going to next which is a pretty picturesque bridge. Yeah I know we've got a bridge finished don't we John? What's wrong with bridges? Nothing. I think without them we'd be uh, needing very long snorkeling. Or oh, lots of boats. Yeah. Or that ferry we saw. What do you think of that? Pretty? What do you see, Mr. Jamie? Behind me is the Bafanga Bridge. Joins Victoria to New South Wales. Started the build in 1927 and was completed in 1930. And if you ask me, what a spectacular bridge. Beautiful. In a few seconds, we'll drive across it. And here we have a wild animal that looks like it's beached. Are you beached, buddy? Yep. Yep. You're just admiring the water. Lapping in. I'm sure he's not part fish. I think he wants to be a fish. Maybe he's a frog. Sort of, yeah. Kicking your legs in anticipation. <laughs>
That's a lot of water. That's like the whole Murray River when we first hit it coming out all at once. Lake Hume, what a magnificent spot and being up here on the Lake Hume dam wall. Absolutely magnificent to see they've got the uh, the spillway open and obviously feeding the lower Murray from the upper Murray. It's very rare you get to see Lake Hume full of water. Last time we was up in this area there was almost no water in it whatsoever. Drives of bone, you could have almost driven across it. Fantastic to see, highly recommend getting up to Lake Hume if you get the opportunity. We're finally at Talangatta, Jamie. We made it to Talangatta. It's been many years since we've been here. The last yeah. time we were here, that was just about bone dry and there was a little creek almost down the back and this was just dry as a bone. Yep, it was uh, it was a mud flat with a river on the other side. Yeah. So it's good to see that the lake's up and uh, it's grown and so is the township of Talangatta we discovered. Yeah. That's a lot bigger than I remember. Indeed, the caravan park's right next to us, and that's got quite a few people in it too. Yeah, uh, so it's good to see the small towns are, are doing pretty good after all that tragic bushfires and COVID and everything going wrong in the past few years. So it's, we're happy to see that, but that's no excuse not to get out here and help them out a bit more and keep spending your money out here when you can. Um, have a good holiday if you do come, and I'm sure you will, because the place is just amazing. Yep, all right, we're going to go and take a break and have yep. a look at the like you behind us yep, yes. and just enjoy yep. the serenity and then we'll head off and we're heading to Avondale Gardens oh yeah Avondale Gardens which might be our camp for the night <laughs> spot Avondale Gardens we finally made it this morning we've done a big journey as you would have seen we've been all the way around Lake Hume got some really really good footage there and uh, what a what a spectacular spot that is as well end of the day is here I'm gonna call it a night end of the show for today please remember to subscribe like follow us share us with your friends we're only a new channel get us out out there please give us some comments and feedback it's all appreciated hopefully we get to see you one day out here Maybe not here, here, but somewhere out here in the high country. I'm Jamie for High Country TV, and thanks for tuning in.